Hello and welcome to a Film Mixologist. Uh, on this episode today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working on this um, Holy 4 barrel carb that looks like a List 1850 600CFM carb, but it isn't. In reality, it's a List uh, 6979. 69, yeah, that's, that's it. And um, basically, um, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to just show you a very quickly a brief walk through uh, the unit before I start disassembling it and then I'm gonna go through the, um, the disassembly process what I find and then we're gonna move on to to the cleaning and the reassembly of it so so as you can see here uh, this unit uh, is uh, well it has kind of seen better days um, and but um, other than that, one of the things that is quite important is that at least the, the, the throttles are not, are not locked up. This is already a winner. Uh, the carb is more or less complete. It's, it's, it's missing the choke, obviously here. Uh, and as you can see, it's quite dusty. Um, and you can see from here, let's have a look. There you go, there's, there's a fair chunk of dust around. But actually, this should be a relatively, you know, good carb for rebuild. Let's have a look at what we find once I start kind of taking the bits, um, taking the bits off, uh, and then we'll see, we'll see where we get to. It's unfortunate that YouTube doesn't come with smell o vision uh, because if not, you'll be treated to to a no, to a to a to a kind of all fuel varnishy experience. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, as you can see here, if you look here, this is this is the primary fuel bowl and look look at this. All of this is fuel residue, carb being parked and with the fuel bowl uh, completely full. So then the old fuels tend to, they have evaporated over years and created this varnish. And the same thing happens here in the fuel bowl. Look at this. I have a suspicion that the fuel that the floats may be broken because they the, the walls are a bit collapsed. And look at this. This is disgusting. <clears throat> So, I think the diagnostic for this particular unit was that it was uh, parked um, with the fuel on, nobody bothered draining the fuel out. It stood for many years and that's what is causing uh, the problems that we have now. So, therefore, in order to wash it, we're going to have to kind of take this into account and use a slightly different process. Nobody here. So this is broken, needs to be replaced. So let's start the cleaning process then. So I'm here with the ultrasonic cleaner and I want to show you what's the technique I use to get the varnish of the parts, you know, this holy carb. So basically what this is, this is a, a jar and this is full of petrol, gasoline and this goes straight in the ultrasonic cleaner and this is what I use to get rid of, of the varnish. Basically, I think it needs, it needs another round uh, on the ultrasonic, but we are, we're really getting there and the parts are now getting cleaned. So this is the technique you have to use. Put them on straight gasoline in the ultrasonic cleaner and send it. So the results of, so the, the results of the cleaning process are in and we're looking good. So I'll show you a bit closer uh, what I mean and I'll show you the, the, the state of this carburetor now that the cleaning process is finished. Okay, so compare this with the state that, that this thing was. Obviously this was all crowded up with, uh, with this varnishy, the fuel bolts as well, now they're very clean. The throttle plates, they've been chemically blackened. Um, and the throttle shafts as well so you can see it so it's all protected from corrosion and the body as well this, this came out quite nice it has a little has a nice little patina to it the only thing that I'm still waiting for 
kind of supply chain wise is the diaphragm for this um, for this vacuum secondary which obviously wasn't working so I need to replace it put a new one and well it's I've, I've, I've ordered it but it's not um, it's not come yet so now what I need to do is I need to build this unit up and put all the things together except for this and then once it comes I just I just put it up and, uh, and, uh, and uh, just put it with the rest of the unit okay so now we're coming to the end of this video and as you can see I've got a brand new um, uh, a brand new diaphragm for the vacuum secondary <coughs> so all of this is buttoned up but now what I want to talk about is how do you avoid the problem that we had in this carburetor in the first place i.e. that fuel sitting for a very long time and becoming varnishy now there are two things you need to do number one is when you are going to stand the carburetor for any period of time what you need to do is in especially in holes you just take off one 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 of them one of the bolts from every bowl you drain the bowl and then you give it a couple of pumps of the accelerator pump to make sure that there is no no gas fuel in the carburetor and now you can store it with with the without any fuel and if there is any residue it will evaporate that's that's going to be okay <coughs> the other one is once you got it to a situation where the carb was in the condition that this was in that wasn't very good and was quite contaminated it is very important you can't just rebuild a car just install it in the car just put, put the fuel line and just send it you can't what you need to do is make sure that all the lines and the tank are clean properly before installing installing the car again because if you rebuild the car and all the lines are, are dirty and all and, and the fuel tank is all dirty the only thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be feeding all that crud into the carburetor and it's going to get blocked again so it's no good for anyone okay so that uh, brings me to the end of this video and so i want to thank you very much for watching this far and also for if you've got questions and comments you can always you can always make it so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next episode